Scout School is a six week preparatory course for our Scouts uh, 0311s and LAR. Um, traditionally, LAR is kind of a mix of 0313, so LAV crewmen, and uh, 0311s. So the 0311s come out here for Scout School while the crewmen do more gunnery uh, with the vehicles. Um, and the overall purpose of Scout School is to start them off with a basic skill set and understanding of orders riding, machine gun employment, and land navigation, and then it'll end with uh, the culminating events being HEX, which we're currently at right now, and then FEX, which is more of a sort of like instructor style, like hands-off approach to them making their own decisions at the squad level. <laughs> so this helps prepare the uh, junior Marines as they have not been on a deployment out here and kind of gets them really thinking at the tactical level. Um, and it also forces them to hold leadership roles that normally their uh, squad leader would be in. However, we don't bring their squad leaders out here. They serve in the role themselves and it um, allows them to really mature as uh, you know, Lance Corporals into that team leader position or Corporals out here into the squad leader position that they may have not have held yet in uh, their normal squad. <laughs> yeah, I would say uh, the biggest thing they get out of this that they haven't had before is the uh, leadership experience and um, tactical sort of mindset that they go from being a team leader to a squad leader or just a general team member to a team leader and having to go into the actual planning process with orders writing because that's kind of a, a little bit of a shock to them just right off the bat having to stay up later writing orders and then really plan their own Kazovac routes and things like that on these patrols. So I would say this school uh, impacts the Marine Corps by contributing to uh, a more lethal force. Um, right off the bat, these scouts have come out here, um, done really well with their land nav, really well with their machine gun employment, um, developing you know their own attacks, pulling MSLs and everything like that. Um, and it, it further develops them as leaders into um, roles just by giving them more responsibility. You know, they're doing their own EDL accounts for all their serialized equipment they're taking out there on these patrols, and the instructors that are with them are really just a safety backstop. So it uh, definitely gives them more leadership experience than they would anywhere else. Yeah, absolutely. I would say that, you know, without scout school, um, these guys would probably be still helping assist with the LAVs and stuff like that, which is good. Um, but this kind of break off from being with a traditional uh, LAR platoon right now gives them the chance to just hone in on their specific scout skills and uh, really, really mature and get to where they need to be for our workup. Yeah, everybody out here is second LAR. Um, we have our Bravo company out here. They just came back from their MU. Um, most of our OP4 are made up of the Bravo company um, team leaders and squad leaders that are out here. And then we also have a separate Seaburn platoon that's out here getting some training, um, doing some scouting and patrolling and um, working really against us. Um, we, we give them a few fragos and they really work themselves to kind of get their uh, assessment of us as scout school and um, come out and you know interdict our actions outside of the patrol base. Uh, so patrolling is really important because it allows like the platoon commander uh, to gain intelligence on the enemy and his whereabouts with the AO, his actions in the AO, what he does, um, AO just being area of operations. And uh, in addition to that, it helps us keep the enemy on their toes, kind of second guessing like what our actions are and denies them the ability to connect, collect information on us. Um, overall, it's, it's 